Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah. What were we told we should do? We were told we should do nice. <laughs> <laughs> we were told we should do a podcast. Oh yeah. That's right. We were told we should do a podcast. Is that, that's what we're doing. And so we did a podcast. We're right actually now. literally right now we're doing a podcast. Right now we're doing it. Yeah. And so we did it. Yeah, motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, 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 Guys, welcome. What, um, what we how talk- are you guys doing today? But bit, bit burnt out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 legit, legit. Actually, it's been it's been a few long weeks of filming. I'm quite yeah. fucking tired. Yeah, man, me too. Oh, yeah. oh man, that's what a crazy oh, what a <laughs> By the way, I'm t- I'm kind of talking about burnout. Genuinely woke up this morning. I was like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's like, like you know that moment when you get out of bed and it's just like the most painful thing ever. Yeah, I, yeah. I sympathize one hundred percent. This morning was was extremely rough, and yesterday was extremely rough, and the day before, uh, yeah, really rough. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, it's been a few. It's been a few rough years. Um, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> it really has. This year, in particular, has been insane. Um, and I guess. You By mean the primarily way. for us, right? Yeah, primarily but for, also me, but for, for a world. lot of people. Yeah. So 2023 was an insane year for mm. for us. I mean, for for everybody. But I, I feel we did an, a, a stupid amount. We did a lot. We did a lot. And yeah. it, it, it actually still baffles me. I, think, I was having a think about this a few days ago that we at the beginning of this year we had an empty shell of a building. And yeah. it hadn't even, it, they had done a little bit of demolition, but like, we basically had an empty building. And now we've actually been operating out of it properly for the last like three or four months. Yeah. Like yeah. it's fucking insane what has happened this year. Yeah. Along with also pumping out a, all the new content. That all the doing. content and all of the other peripheral stuff that will eventuate and will become something later. Mm. Yeah. That it's just that we're, we're laying the groundwork for so many other things that. And it's, new things it's, like this podcast. New things like this podcast yeah. and, and other things. But um, yeah, it's it's. I really feel this year is the first year in a long time. Well, first year maybe ever that I've I've literally pushed myself to the point of, oh, I can't go any further. So, listener, we are recording this actually at the end of twenty twenty three. It's uh, currently so, the fourteenth of December. The fourteenth of December. So, uh, we've got a Christmas break coming up very very soon. Thank God, we I need it. Oh, God. need it so bad. I literally, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I I've, I kind of re- have genuinely reached the point where if if there wasn't a break coming up, I'd be like, okay, I, I need to take a few okay. weeks, regardless. Now, um, I, I originally pitched this uh, podcast as let's do it about burnout, but then kind of looked into burnout. I was like, oh, actually, this is like I, I thought it was just a term of phrase, but it's a full on a medical thing, eh? medical yeah, yeah. like nah. re- med- medically recognized. What did you did you write it down? Because I actually don't yeah. know. You said this the other day, and I was like, oh, so what? it's um. This is this is the, kind of the definition. It's a, uh, job burnout is a type of stress linked to work. It includes, oh, specifically is job burnout. Yeah, although I, I just search burnout definition, so it always feels like burnout is associated with yeah, work. Yeah, I, I guess. So. Yeah. Um, it includes being worn out physically and or emotionally. Job burnout also may involve feeling useless, powerless, and empty. Uh, and the, the kind of the lists of the symptoms are helplessness, cynicism, sense of failure, or self doubt, decreased satisfaction, feeling detached or alone in the world, loss of motivation. Uh, and it, oh wow! So it's a very mental thing. It's a very like, clinically, mental it's thing. a very mental thing because yeah. I, I, I mean, I guess I don't have burnout. Then I've got the tired. Exactly. I kind of I've feel got like, the tired. but I'm on the cusp of burnout. I remember, like I got home yesterday and I was like, I remember like talking about it with you guys and I was like, so I don't think I'm at burnout level. But then but I just close got to. home, but close to, and I was just yeah. this shell of a person. I'm like, oh no, I think maybe I'm close. I'm close. Mm-hmm. Like I, I feel like you don't just arrive at burnout. It's this really gradual thing that builds over weeks yeah. and months. So how do you guys feel about work, our work-life balance this year with, with Viva and work, your life? Work, work-life balance in general for Viva Dirt League for the last um, three, four, five years has felt very unbalanced. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's primarily because of well, it's Slack. So Slack, for those of you who don't use Slack, <laughs> uh, it's it's a special kind of software that's designed for having multiple threads going. It's for companies, really, to discuss yeah. all the multiple threads and conversations and topics that are happening in a company. Yeah, and so a very helpful. Very helpful yeah. um, app- application. But um, that is a never-ending... It, it's 
It's ne- there's never not a message there that needs I, to be addressed. I think, like Slack, you're right, is a problem, and I, I think in a in a broader sense, and I think a lot of the listeners will be able to uh, empathise with this is having work on your phone. Yeah, means you can never escape it. Yeah. yeah, it means you're you're when you when you even when you go to the bathroom, work is on your phone. When you go yeah. home, work is on your phone. When yeah. you're at the park, when you're at the beach, when you're anywhere, work is on your phone. And I mean, of course, you can ignore it, but who the fuck ignores their phone? No. And who who ever leaves and their Slack, phone? Slack is a, it's it's right there, baby. It's, it's right on there. your phone. And nobody leaves their phone at home anymore. Nobody ever does that. Mm. It's always in your pocket. I would much rather, in my own time, just check it every half hour, hour, and kind of go, oh, okay, there's four or five messages there um, and address them. But, yeah. but you, Adam, would rather have just kind of have it go. Hey. Just kind of, it's, if it's, especially if it's small things, I can just go, yep, do the thing, great, and move on. Like li- literally, like you can <sighs> I'm grateful it. one of us do, does this because I, I actually always really appreciate it when we get a very prompt reply and it's Adam typically doing the prompt typically. replying because you can somehow, you're actually, I don't know, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> you can be engaged in a conversation with somebody and, and be actively engaged in this conversation while messaging down, down <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. I, and I also, and this is, I'm <laughs> going to pump myself up in here. You have this as well, Ellie. In fact, I think you're doing it right then is you can, you can, on a, on a fucking non-touch screen, oh, on, yes. on a, on a flat screen, yeah. you can, Talk with someone while typing on a keyboard. Yeah, and I, I can do the same thing. The yeah, that's a lot. And not only can I be typing a conversation, but I can be having a conversation while. I don't understand that. Out. I can't split my brain up into two things. Especially if it's a basic I, thing. I remember writing. when I first met you. I was like, I'm going to learn this, <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'd be having a conversation with somebody. I'd be, I'd be like, okay, and I just got, to, I got a text at the same time. I'll try and reply to them, and then I'd be like, just I find myself like doing this, and the other person is just doing that. Like, they're, they're, suddenly I'm rude because I'm not yeah. engaged in this conversation. I very quickly well, realize like, my I've brain read, is just not. Do, doing that yeah. is rude, but going, yeah, man, no, I totally understand uh, what you're talking about. Oh, is that, is so, she, so is she, just for anyone who's, been... who's just listening to this, Adam's looking me directly in the eye yeah, as, yeah. He's, as he's typing on his phone. Oh, oh Ron, if that's I, sad that if you're I doing the thing did with this, it. What I what I was saying audibly to the other person would be the thing that I'm texting. It would just be the, the conversation wouldn't matter. I'd have to either, I'd look back in the conversation and be like, oh, that doesn't make any sense, the reply, or I'd just have to undo everything and start again, and I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing, Ailey, because it's like literally your thumb knows the distance to the keys. Yes, yeah, yeah, or, it's or totally th- auto. Because I use my thumb. I can kind of do yeah. that, like, but I'd still have to be con- consciously thinking about what I'm typing rather than like yeah, I will focusing admit, all energy on that. Yeah, I will admit sometimes my auditory processing slower, so I'm sort of going tick, tick, tick. And then I'll hear what you said, and it's like yeah. maybe a one second delay. So I might yeah. be a bit slower to answer you, but I am listening. I'm just kind yeah. of holding it in the queue, yeah. texting, and then coming in. I can talk at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I don't think I was going to do that. Or, or, if, or if you don't, I, I catch you sometimes as well, like you, you're focused on a thing, and then you kind of come back to the meeting, and, and it's like you go, okay, I'd, I'd, I've recorded everything you guys have said. I'll <laughs> quickly play it back in my head, yeah. and I'll <laughs> up to the play, and you're like, and I, I just genuinely like, God, like that's, I, I, it's, it's a magical power yeah, to me, I'm man. Not I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not a robot. <laughs> Thank God you kind of are. Adam's rolling. <laughs> Adam, a, yeah. Adam's looking very suspicious. You're I think he is a robot. I think that is what a robot would say. Yeah, this is it. Is it Hang, can of, we give him a capture test? Yeah. <laughs> How do we do that right now? How do we do this right now? Uh, uh, tick uh, this box. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he can't tick it. No, <laughs> this is no, no, not a robot. No, no. Tick it. Ah. I mean, we found no. him. <laughs> no, you no, have yes. to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we find guys. We found him. We finally found him. Do you think, as well, having phones in our pockets, uh, is it subconsciously over the years has just ingrained? The idea of working out in our brains more than uh, like older generations have just having because we've that's got what this. I was kind of saying yeah. before. Like yeah. it, it's Slack as for us, but yeah. like for other people, it's Outlook, it's email, it's Teams, yeah. it's fucking all of those things. I mean, it's and even with Facebook phone, Messenger, it's texting, yeah. it's because your boss or whoever a colleague can just immediately reach out to you. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's bizarre. Like it, it n- and no other real time. Up until oh, very recently, could they do this? You would leave the house and they could try and call you, but like it, it's you're... the best and worst thing that's ever happened. Yeah, absolutely. Like, well, I'm not that ever happened to humans, but like it's the best and worst thing, kind of in recent time, in recent decades. Is, yeah. Is well, a, it's nuts because I mean, I'll be this Christmas break going to quite a secluded beach, like three or four hours out, outside of Auckland. I'll be reachable the entire yeah. time. Like yeah. I won't be able to detach it entirely from the way to detach is to leave your phone. To leave your phone, but I, 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 man, I'm just I'm I'm 
I'm stuck with it. I'm just addicted <laughs> to my phone. I yeah. even miss that. That this is again best and worst thing. Getting on a flight. The a lot a lot of the time these days you have Wi-Fi on the yeah. flight now. Yeah. I kind of miss mm. the fact, and and because I've got the option, I end up. Taking. Logging in and then checking things. Yeah. Whereas I missed the days not long ago where it was like, okay, this is the one t- we, the one time what? where you have to stop. Uh, yeah. You're you going on a flight. To. You're on a flight to wherever for for like five ten hours. Yeah. You have to just log out of humanity for a bit. Yeah. I mean anywhere from New Zealand like twelve hours. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I I I used to love that. I used to get like kind of like this one time where I the like one time. I'm like put in an isolation chamber. You have to. You're not a yeah. part of, hum- of the it's human. Everything, it's everything, man. It's it's like it, it's the first thing you pick up in the morning. It's the last oh, last thing you see before you go to bed. It's I, I hate it a little bit. I like, hate it a little I, bit. I, I have told you this that for the longest time I was charging my phone not in the bedroom. I did this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, it's I, back I might have been the, the one actually now. to Vincent. Yeah, same. Mm. But mine would genuinely be on the other side of the room. And oh, mine was in a different room. That's next level. I, for me, it was the physics. I just just the get, needing to get up and go over to it was was enough. What I was trying to stop was any interaction with my phone in the first half hour of waking. Yeah. So I would I would my I had a, I bought myself a little normal alarm. Yeah. And I would get up and I would do bathroom things. I'd do coffee and then I'd try not to go into my office and grab my phone for like a good half hour of yeah. being awake. I might try and do this again. I think I fucking need to go back. Just to talking it well. about it, like yeah. that's. I mean, we could almost do a different podcast about just. Phone yeah. on social media and how, yeah, how yeah. that's fucking humanity. genuinely, uh, yeah, yeah, but um, um, yeah, but because <laughs> I, I was trying to because now it's kind of going into that topic. Um, I was for the longest for, for in recent months going, okay, I cannot do TikTok or social media mm. or my phone when I'm in bed. Yeah, yeah. that's a good um, that's a good rule. That was a rule that I was, but then Claire, I uh, went to England yeah. uh, recently, um, and and then I was like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now here you are doom scrolling to bed 3 a.m. <laughs> like how uh, long genuinely how long on TikTok uh, I, uh, there have been some nights where I've kind of gone to bed at like midnight and yeah. been like TikToking until 3 a.m. wow fucking hell yeah that, 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 to, to bring it back to burnout I yeah. genuinely think that that is because it's engaging your brain like yeah. here you are you're at work, you're, you're at work, you're working, and then you come home, you've got family time, you've got responsibilities, you've got chores, and then you sit down on the couch, which should be your relaxing time. And I know people try to delude themselves that, no, scrolling through TikTok's re- not, it's relaxing, yeah. I like it. It's not. No. It is engaging your brain. Your brain is working quite hard. Yeah, I found myself in a bad routine quite recently that I, I had to try and get out of last night because I, w- I went to bed at 9 p.m. last night. It was just I need to sleep. Um, but I, I, my only real time for me is after the kids have gone to bed, uh, Chelsea just wants to do her own thing. And so it's like seven, seven thirty PM. I've got like two hours maybe where I can kind of do my own thing, but it's at the end of the day where I'm exhausted and I've kind of like, I'm, I, I could pass out right then, but I, I'm like, no, this is my time. This is my literally my only time of the day that I can do yeah. stuff for me. And so I'll typically play video games. And it's the, it's a similar thing of just the it's the even if I go into it feeling quite drowsy and and I, I'll, by the end of it I'm actually more awake because, because of the artificial it's still engaging it's engaging your brain. the yeah. brain yeah. but to the point where then I'll go to bed at you know ten or whatever and I'll just lie there awake for an extended period of time because of like just had this really artificial hit of dopamine of, yeah. the, of the yeah. like yeah, just yeah. the lights and colors especially when it's Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch! It's just, God like, damn, it's, it's so, insane, so, man. So there's no wonder that the entire fucking world is going through burnout at the moment because it's not just us. Anyone you talk yeah, to at the so moment, so many people. Oh, it's like, oh god, I'm just so fucking tired all the time. Well, I've got a down. question actually to the to the people in their twenties who are listening to this. <laughs> Does, does, do, you, do you relate to this? Yeah, or is it I just mean, people who are in, like, who are the getting comments. old? Yeah. I was, I was about to ask Ali about <laughs> this no, video. Like, Damn it. Ali, like, oh, no, oh, you don't, sorry, Ali, you don't count anymore. <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, we would have quizzed you on yeah, this. Yeah, we would have quizzed you. Wait, yeah. Ben Williams is sitting right outside. We'll ask him. I yeah. wonder if he is. We, oh, I mean, okay, even 31, Ali, how are you feeling? Oh, yeah, look, I am getting a little bit burnt out at this point. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a bit hard. Do you know what? I have a theory as well. When we had the pandemic and we were in, like, lockdowns all the time, I know it was really busy still and we were, like, doing lots. I feel like though we were at home more so we didn't have that social draining all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And then now being back at work for like a full year for the last two years, I think my body's kind of gone, oh, you were used to having like four weeks off every now and then. Yeah. (laughs) Or like four weeks away from the world is what I mean, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that might have 
stunted us a bit, maybe? Is or me, anyway. Genuinely. No, no. It's great. Is it's Earth no. just playing catch up for the big break that we got during COVID? Or are we just all kind of going, oh, well, now we're just playing catch up? I think it's a maybe. general, like, genuinely, maybe. I, I, I don't I, relate to what you've said, but because I had a new, like, a toddler uh, and it was yeah. just all about, but I saw everybody else that didn't have kids was, was having a much different time <laughs> than me. I, yeah. think, I think everyone's using that as an excuse, is my opinion. You can't play catch up with something that happened two years ago. I, I just genuinely think it's our lifestyle at the moment. I feel like kind of uh, maybe, but I feel like there was I remember all, being tired uh, quite, before COVID. Quite, there was also yeah. there was also a sense of quite literally playing catch up on getting our content and stuff. So uh, I'm thinking about that, yeah. work uh, situations that where, regard, like, yeah. where a lot of stuff that didn't get done with we've been having to kind of catch up on all the things, even little things subconsciously that just we yeah. were missing out on for like during that COVID time. In, maybe. That, in that regard, people are working harder to catch up on COVID yeah. time things. Yeah, I thought you meant emotionally. Just speaking mentally. of COVID, like mm. I think I, I think a lot of people might relate to what I'm about to say. And I feel like I've, I've got to say, I'm aware that COVID for a lot of people um, was a horrible time and a lot, lot, you know, lot of terrible things about COVID. I wouldn't say horrible, for me at least. It was, yeah. like, it, was, it, was, it was draining, but it was also incredible that I got to spend so much time well, with like, yeah, sure, yeah. my child. But, but yeah, like, I'm just, also people like death and, and the, you know, oh, it's a God. pandemic. It's, it's horrendous. It's oh, the, it one of the worst terrible. things that's happened uh, in recent decades. But um, for me personally, mm. I'm absolutely speaking for me personally, I fucking loved it. Yeah. Like I, I, I got to have a break, like a proper a break. Very we, extended we had break. to just stop everything. You had no, to. You I had no for, choice. You had to stop everything. The world everything. was forced to have a break. And I was at home just like loving it, getting up, streaming. We had, we'd have to have a couple of little meetings, a little here and there. and Tiny. And I think there are, there are some people or a lot of people who can relate to that on some level, having I, a, bit, a forced I, break. I think you'll find, especially a lot of those people who couldn't work like literally you had to just fucking stop your life yeah. a lot of people just kind of went oh wow yeah I, I guess it would have been a really big moment of um looking at like reevaluating your life mm. right like for a lot of people yeah. being like you, you you have this forced time to consider your life and your options and your trajectory that you're currently on with work and and I, I guess the vast majority of people couldn't do their job from yeah. home. So they're like, yeah, it's a, it's a forced holiday to really just make sure. I don't know. I, I would love to know the stats about how many people left their jobs after the lockdown mm, or yeah. decided to pursue I, I do. I'm not sure about itself. that, but I know the stats of people that left relationships after yeah. was massive. Oh, yeah. And the spike of kids as well would have been yeah, like, yeah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people um, realized that they're, their partners that they they never had. But this other thing, you're, you're forced to spend time with your significant other because well, you're. But, but then you're what trash. you're saying, kids as well. It's not a negative thing. It could have been a positive thing. Like totally. I, Jen and I came out of it stronger because we realized, yeah. oh, we just were forced to spend a whole lot of time together. And we, got and we kind of really loved it. Yeah, yeah, great, totally. Yeah, guys, is being perpetually tired? Is it just an adult thing? <laughs> That's why I wanted to get Ben Williams in here yeah. and ask. <laughs> is is yeah. To kind of segue from that, like, like, are all adults tired all the time? Uh, fuck, maybe. Or is that just because I've, it's been just a constant state of, it's been just, that's been my, my default yeah. for as long as I can remember at this point. Like, pr well, pr definitely this my, year. Look, I, I like to think that, if, obviously everyone gets tired. Everyone works hard from time to time and is yeah. like, oh, I'm, I'm tired from doing the thing that is, you know, whatever it is you've been doing, working hard or playing hard. But I kind of keep going back to the fact that the, the modern human lifestyle is that you never get a break mm. from, like, even from, like, you're expected to be, what's the word? You're, you're, you're expected to be inspirational outside of your work and family life. Like, you're expected to have amazing hobbies or you're expected yeah. to be... Even if it's video games, you're expected to be Platinum League in fucking Overwatch. Like, you're, you're expected to be... God damn it, I'm just you're expect, I'm gold. Even damn when you, we were talking about this the other day, actually, Ali, when you go on holiday, you're expected to have a great time. So you're like, okay, well, we've got to do this thing and then post about it and on social that, media so people know about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. If, if you don't post like, about it, how, how, how does anyone know? Fucking know that you did it? So yeah. here you are meant to be <laughs> having successfully your fucking... holidayed. <laughs> here you are meant to be having your fucking break time, your holiday, and yeah. you're like, well, no, we have to do all those things. We need to pack everything into a day. We need to make sure people know about it by posting it on social media. I need to look if hot. They, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I need that, to look hot in my post. And now into the whole social media thing, that's living your life in the anticipated memory. Yeah. So you just, yes, you're just you never in the present. You're just constantly yeah. going like, 
Okay, I, I can't wait to remember this one day. Yeah. So I'm not here right now, but to photos, photos, We should video. do our own, like a social media. Oh, yeah, a social yeah, media yeah. phone podcast. Yeah, we should. I, 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 I agree 100%. But bringing it back to work, how is, how is this mindset normalized? I, I am, I'm so confused as to like, I'm sure people could have trialed it out for a little bit, but then very quickly gone, oh, that's not sustainable. But... The general, like the the Western countries are. I mean, not just Western countries, actually. I mean, look at Japan. Like, how many out their 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 culture is just you. You work, you work until out. you pass out, and then mm. you 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 keep working. You stay with one company forever, and you'd be proud of that. And like, I mean, that that's in so many different countries all over I, the world. How is why is this normal? I like, I don't fucking know. I think it's just creeping up. Like to me, I when I was a kid, all I heard was nine to five. Totally. Who the fuck works nine to five? Like. Like no one, we got here at seven forty-five this morning. I mean, we're oh, you're saying like oh, right. most people work significantly more than yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Like, oh, right, yeah. And and back in the day, it used to be like I know this is the traditional way it was, but it was like the man would work nine to five, yeah, and then he'd come home tired because he's been working all day. I'm yeah, trying to I'm trying the, to think about it from, and the partner would not generally probably not have worked. Yeah, yeah. The last time that I worked was as a video editor at Ends of May. And I, I guess, but when I wasn't the owner of a company, I can relate to a time when I, sh- I clock in at just like 8.55, like just before, and clock out at like 5. Good on you, I, I th- Good I, on I, you for doing I, that. Yeah, I think. I, I, and I see this a lot on TikTok and, and the Gen Z and the memes are all about the work, like anti-work culture. Which, mm. And it's about like, it's about standing up for your rights and kind of going, they're in the middle of a Zoom call and it's 5 p.m. and they just kind of close the <laughs> laptop and the person going, excuse oh. me. Uh, we haven't finished the meeting, and they're like, "Oh, sorry, uh, it's five PM." Set. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like, yeah, totally. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I, I, like, I, I, in my opinion, that that work work time is just extending. Yeah. It's just oh, getting, absolutely. It's getting longer and longer and longer, and it's unsustainable, really. Yeah, and it's it's just it's heartbreaking because, well, I mean, I would call it nine to five. <clears throat> Those hours between nine and five are the hours that life would happen. If yeah. you weren't working, mm-hmm. like that's where you, that's where you're the best version of yourself. You have the most energy. You can do it. You can accomplish the most. You can create that. That's where like, it's, it's so difficult. The notion of like work, working it for your weekend and you've got two days okay. and you've got to make them. I mean, just to tie it back to those little holidays and stuff. You've got to make the most of those two days. And the, th- the Saturday is just a recovery day from the week. And then Sunday is about stressing that the week is about to start the next day. You never get a full, it's not a relaxing time. It's- I think this is why I've always struggled with, uh, okay, this is a weird, weird way to start this. Scene. I've always struggled with dinner. And this is why. <laughs> because you, you spend eight hours working, in theory, this is but I'm like, is I, it eight hours working, yeah. eight hours sleeping. Now you've got eight hours to, of that day to live. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, the, and there's all these, you got to get chores and bits and things and stuff and getting home and all, all that jazz. And then for like two hours of that to be the preparation of, you know, dinner and yeah. cleaning up after. That's the part that get that I'm like, oh God, I just want to return just, on investment, man. Yeah. It's, <laughs> return on investment. Yeah. Get over or, or just put some microwave rice and some toner. Yeah. And the, yeah. That, yeah. I fully 100% understand your point of view. Like we've had this topic. This is a, but, this yeah. is going to be a different podcast. About but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for me, um, like bringing it back to bringing it back to like what you can do to stop burnout is I I just need to I need to have mental downtime and yeah. cooking is one of those things for me I quite enjoy cooking especially if my phone's for you, right? especially if my phone's away yeah it is basically yeah. and I've got a little bit of music on yeah. or something and my my if I like a good day for me that brings me out of that tiredness it's not even t- about tiredness it's about the burnout thing yeah is going home, phones away. It's uh, it's uh, some cooking, some gardening, and a bit of reading, like yeah. on the couch reading. And there's no uh, external it's, kind of things attacking me. And it's and you boring adult. You that's almost like a different boring <laughs> boring adult. I, I wish that's going to segue into a different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I I wish I did that. I would like, and I I could. But I, I did something and just about like I'm just drawn to. Well, I mean, that, that's, first of all, I just gotta get like I, I I I need to hang out with my my kids, put them to bed, do the whole nighttime routine and stuff, and mm-hmm. then then I'm done. I'm a zombie, and I need some sort of like artificial boost to get me. You want you want I know I know I want a treat. I want a little moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I want a little moment to yeah. myself cheat, cheat. enjoy yeah. life. 
I would have treat treat. But the thing is, in that zombie moment, I I mean I have that zombie moment too. Yeah. All I'm doing in the garden is pulling weeds and watering things. Yeah. Like I can zombie my way through that. Yeah. But and being out really in the fresh into yeah. gardening and cooking. But being out in the fresh air, having my feet on the ground, like it yeah. kind of gives me a little bit of restoration and calms my brain down for yeah. a I, I think I like that the, a lot. This uh thing you talk about is, is a very common thing, probably especially for parents, is you give and you give and you work and you do until the last second of the day and you're actually tired now and you should go to bed, but you just fucking want to have <laughs> a couple of hours to just yourself. To, and so yeah. you, you sacrifice your sleep. You sacrifice uh, your sleep and your the sleep. quality of, of your the next day a little bit. Just to go, for, okay, they've gone to bed. Everyone, okay, just me. You put your headphones on, you log in, and you go, just fuck, I'm going to enjoy the last few <laughs> m- moments of my day. But well, what is the dream work life balance for you guys then with, with Viva? What is the dream work life balance? Okay, the dream work life balance for me that at some stage in the next five to 10 years, I want to I wanna take a big step back. So I'm just yeah. showing up and being a little guest appearance at times, I guess. That's what I imagine. Yeah. But you know, you know, it'll be working just like as we worked the, like this year up to, and the, those whole five years. Or, no, no, or, no. So the, I'm just starting from like, from oh, long term right, right. goals. Is yeah. just to be basically just showing up and popping my head in, and then spending most of my days just on a holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, long term nice. goals. Yeah. Um, short shorter term goals like would be to go. We film a filming block every four, sorry, every three months. Three months. A- yeah. And. Uh, and I would love it to be just that, but I know that's never going to be the case. It's going to always be a, a million meetings. So here's that could a, be the five year thing. That could be a five year thing. I think the most realistic thing for me, and I'm, I'm being a realist here, is we film every three months for a big three week shoot block, mm-hmm. and then in the weeks leading up to that, we only have we basically work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right and that's through. it, yeah. and Thursdays and Fridays. Yeah, that would man. be that would be a realistic goal. Yeah, that'd be nice. So, so Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday just filled with meetings. Do you know the crazy thing is like, I, oh, 100%, that sounds amazing. Are, I, are I would we, do that for a while, but very quickly start filling those Thursdays, Fridays up with chasing my own, like, Yeah, film. I would do the exact Sure, live your dreams. Yeah, yeah. but, but that's the thing I'd be doing in my own time. And yeah, that's, yeah. that's honestly, for me, one of the, hap- like, I, I'm so happy when I, I have a clear day. It's kind of like you and streaming, really. I have yeah, a clear yeah. day. I wake up, I have my coffee, I get the kids all ready and they, they kind of go off to um, preschool and then I, I can sit down and just write. Mm. And like it's and for me, I don't know what, what it is about. It's writing. Meditative. Yeah. That's meditative that's, for you, for isn't it? For me, is the, yeah, it's yeah, the meditation. My worst, that's not, sounds like my worst nightmare. I know, but you, you've only really written things you've been told to write in a weird way, eh? I guess so, yeah. yeah. When it's like, okay, we've done that thing, I've got to get this done, I've got yeah, to get it it's done. Job. Mm-hmm. And I feel the same way about some of the sketches we write where I've been allocated, the, you write yeah. the sketch, it's like, oh God, I've got to get through this job. But for me, writing my own thing that I'm just exploring mm-hmm. and figuring out as I go for me is a little just exciting journey that I yeah. can go on and it's like, I don't know, it's empowering. Proper and creativity. And, yeah, it's proper creativity. Yeah. And I can do that for a few uh, hours and then I'd be, then I, then I kind of run out of steam and but then I can just stop. And yeah. then I can like, now I'll play video games. And now I'll do this mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, Adam, what's your dream work-life balance? Yeah, I mean, I I have a slightly different relationship to work to you. It's very much similar to you as I feel like I need to achieve something yeah. in some regard. Um, my work-life balance would really just be a, that, that kind of just a, a nine to five, but that nine to five is not punishing. It's not constantly go, 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 go. Yeah. Uh, it, it really is having those kind of those ebbs and flows throughout the day. Like I, I can't remember, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was the day before where we kind of had a bit of very chill morning, a couple of meetings in the middle of the day and then a chill afternoon. Mm. Um, that, that is the perfect day for me. And then home to yeah, kind of do what you're saying or what you were saying, which is like an afternoon off where then you can go and either stream or write or do your own thing and just kind of live your own life. Yeah. I, I, for some reason, it, it, the most appealing, if we have to do work, which we obviously always have to do, the idea of condensing this the work down for me into three days, so the week's a bit top heavy and then you can, but you know you can recover I, from it. It doesn't feel as daunting and it'll just be, yeah, man, more manageable I, in my mind. I do, unfortunately... <laughs> for our listener out there, realize that we're in a slightly more privileged we're position a, we where are. we can do something like a three-day week or half days or yeah. you know, the odd day off here and there. 
Um, yeah, yeah. work life balance for a lot of people is like, I don't, don't get that choice. I just yeah, work yeah, yeah. So, totally. So, yeah. So, hey, listener out there, what's your what what do you think of work life balances? Yeah. yeah. Let us know in the comments. Well, I of really, this video. I really hope that well, video. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that um, companies and it, it is something that I'm really starting to see more and more of, and it's something that we have spoken about in the past is introducing a four day work week. And listener, I hope that that is becomes available to you one day because that going back to the weekends thing where you never really fully recover in a weekend, a three day weekend sounds perfect. Cause that, like, it's that middle day. Cause that middle what, day. It's what you were saying the, uh, earlier where it's like the, the first, the Saturday is recovery and Sunday is, Oh fuck it's Monday tomorrow. Yeah. Whereas if you have three of them, yeah. that middle day is the golden day. You, you have a day where either side of you, you've, you haven't yeah. had to go to work. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I, it's that I'm kind of slightly changing the topic now. That kind of participating in society thing. Like I, I'm most certainly a realist about what you need to do in life to kind of participate in society and be able to literally eat and breathe and have a mm. roof over your head. And whether or not it's four days or five days, there needs to be some element of work. Yeah. Um. What What I really think is the world needs to kind of transition back to that thing where it's like you're you're that that time you're at work that eight hours for five days four days whatever it is needs to be not necessarily enjoyable but it it needs to be a thing that whether or not it fulfills you in the work you're doing or fulfills you with the people you are with or something like that it, if it is just literally punishing nine to five. That that is where it's soul destroying, in my opinion. Yeah. Whereas, kind of what I was saying, what I want, what my work life balance looks like, is days where you're you can have a kind of half hour personal chat off to the side, yeah. and you can uh, have like two hours in the middle of the day just for kind of like reflection on what you're doing or some little creative work mm. or something like that. It, even then, I think you're imagining um, like like office jobs and stuff. Whereas there are some jobs like working as a nurse or any shift don't work get where that. that's just, even if you, the yeah. boss said, yeah, I really want to make this a thing. It just isn't it possible. Yeah. I do yeah. shift work. Yeah. I, like I, I, I can't right. just, yeah. You're right. just I'm, I'm still imagining yeah, my you're, you're privileged imagining, life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah. You're right. And I think for a lot of people this, like, and, and I don't know what it is about, I, I could never do this, but I, you sh treating work as part of your life and not your whole life. Like a lot of Correct. people think that they are defined by their job. And if you have a job that you don't enjoy, what does that say about like, so when your people whole say life? to you, "What do you do?" Well, that's like the first and, thing and the, people ask, and the answer is your job, like yeah, what your job you, title exactly. Is. And that's that's kind of heartbreaking. That says yeah. so much. Hey? Like, what do you do? Oh, I like gardening. And I like cooking gardening. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I play a lot of video games. I, I have tried games. at times when I've met someone to to, to mm. think of a different way to kind of introduce how do we introduce it juice you to me yeah, yeah. without asking that what do you do for a job yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's uh, yeah i, I kind of go like i've always thought do i say so what are you hi uh, what's your name so so yeah what are you what are you like doing yeah it just doesn't feel it doesn't yeah, feel yeah, right yeah. Like, but that's bizarre right. how does society like why is what you do to make money it's the, the way the human defines you. It's the way human brains work. You need to put someone into a box to define them before you can. Because if you go, "Hey, uh, uh, Jeff, uh, what's uh, what do you do?" and they go, "I am a lawyer," you can instantly go, "Here's a box that you probably fit in." Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know a lot about you now by one word. And it's insane that how inaccurate that would be a lot of the time. Oh, for like, sure. But at least you've got the least... bound. It's like it's because if they said, "I'm a fucking." Uh, professor at the university yeah that's a very different box totally oh, i i absolutely most I, like, percent most agree. likely you go, if you're a lawyer okay so you wear a suit and you're probably in the city and yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Can, yeah yeah but I, then you can start and you, you can start asking questions after that and you go oh you're not in the city oh and you're a small law firm so you don't wear a you're suit. right it is a very and good segue kind of into a lot of different things find that box it really. is unfortunately it's a big part of what a person does correct yeah. so yeah, that's yeah. why it is the thing that was often the first thing it's getting for some people who are either not proud of their job or or yeah, yeah I, I see sometimes when that when I do ask that because I am I am guilty. I ask that from time to time. Oh, Some yeah. people just deflate when you when they're like, <sighs> I like, work I work um in a in an account. It's accounting, like they're saying something you know the other person is not going to be interested yeah, in, and, and then you that and you know they're going to have to feign interest like the other person you're talking to is like, oh wow that sounds interesting. Oh yeah, so what kind of accounting do you do? Chelsea hates I, that because she feels like she's um. 
letting the other person down when she says, "Oh, I'm a full time mum," like as if, the, and that, but that's totally viable. Yeah, right. Like right. being a mum is like you, you, are you like that's one of the hardest jobs on the planet. Mm. Yeah, and but that just doesn't give the other person uh, it immediately makes the conversation a little bit awkward and in some way because they're not it's like oh my god you're not contributing to society you're not making money like that i don't know where to to take this it's as if the person who is replying to this needs to be i don't know have that conventional nine to five working in a box doing so they can go ah oh, was i also work in an office what do you do like yeah, I yeah, that yeah. we can bounce off the similar topic that we've both got yeah yeah and exactly. they go oh you're a mum uh, hey, yeah conversation yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do we take right this conversation? How do we? How do we? How do we fix this, guys? Let's fix this problem. Do uh, we? Well, what's let's the question fix it. We okay, l- listen. We're we going to fix everything. Are we going to fix? Go. No, no, we're going to fix um, with the world. We're going to fix, fix the world. with conversation. Let's start with the conversations. What okay. questions should we ask people instead of saying what do you do? What do we, let's find a question that's not awkward. To, like, what are your what are your what are your hobbies? That's awkward, isn't it? What yeah, are your, that's very awkward. Hello. What are you like? You, okay, you can even say, uh, hi, what's your name? Sandra, um, what's like your worst fear? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And like, what's your, um, like, uh, what, what if you, what, well, you can just jump into Rowan's like random quest, questions. Bit, the thing is, I, like, as okay, I'm saying, a, I'm there's trying, a park bench, right? I was kind of joking. Like, hey, listener, what most defines you? <laughs> the, although the funny thing is, as I'm saying this, I was saying this to try and make a joke. And then yeah. I was like, it's not the worst. It's, it's like not the worst. It'd be like a little bit shocking at first, but then you actually get immediately into like into a deep conversation. conversation. And yeah, I yeah. think the other person would actually be quite amused at this new angle. They'd be like, "Oh, um, okay. Well, I mean, I hate what, spiders. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I if, guess. You, if you had a, a billion dollars, what, what would you do with your life? Yeah, you yeah. should. You should genuinely get just revisit Rowan's random questions, yeah. like shower thoughts, and I be want, like, I kind of almost want you to do this with a stranger now. Yeah. Is yeah. like. So if you, yeah, there's there's a genie pops up on a park bench, right? Yeah. There's eternal happiness. What eternal do you happiness. and he offers you and he offers you meth? What are you gonna do? He offers yeah. you meth. I'd take the meth. I'd fucking take I'd the take meth. meth all day, every, every day. <laughs> and uh, okay, expanding that out to okay, we've so we've now fixed that. Uh, how do we fix uh, burnout and fatigue? Oh, like, and, how like, to fix as burnout? As a worldwide oh, thing, so the, we've got we've got a few minutes left. Well, um, my advice do is it? like just kind of like don't. Be burnt don't, out. Yeah, burnt don't just pretty yeah. much. Don't work. Like that. Don't participate in society. Do your own thing. Yeah, yeah just don't get burnt out. Just yeah. have an apple. Yeah, <laughs> just just have an apple. Couple push ups. Couple push ups. Apple, apple. Just yeah. like make sure you meditate. You're sweet. Yeah. Is that it? Is it? I think yeah, that's I think, like, I think we solved it. it. Done. Lock Ta- it in. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that wasn't hard. That was easy. This is great. Why did we talk about this for fucking hours? What other world problems do you want us to deal with? Uh, um, like world peace. World peace. People stop. Stop. Fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Hug. 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 Stop fighting. Just talk about it. Yeah, talk about it. Just talk about it. Hey, oh my God. What next? <laughs> Guys. What is next? Oh, wow. Awesome. Would you rather um, have the ability to walk through walls? Yeah. Or would you rather be able to um, read people's minds? I think being able to read people's minds. Would be more useful. You're, you're not. Then it's just so invasive. I feel so like. But I wouldn't let you know I'm reading your mind. Yeah, but that's, but the, that's the, even actually, worse. Now like, that I think about like, it, do I want to know what people are thinking think about me? So no, that's like, a good point. Yeah. You heard the expression, "What other people say about you is none of your business." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Good. Yeah. Right. I don't. That so for the, like I go through walk through. Do I, okay, walk through do I have to pick one of these? Yeah. Okay. Well, then reading people's minds. Minds. What are you? I think walk through walls. I can just. Yeah. I. I can walk through walls. Just use the fucking you know, door. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, if there's a door in it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be like, check this out. And I'd be like, bitch, you can't do that. And you'd be coming through the door like, I, I just did it. I mean, the only reason you'd want to be able to walk through walls if you wanted to be a robber and start robbing banks. I kind of do. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah okay. There I you probably go. would do that. If I could Have you got a would you rather? Um, I on, don't. On the, on the spot. I, uh, would, would you rather have, I don't even know if this is going to be good. Would you rather have, be given a million dollars and nobody knows about it, or would you? Or you get given uh, ten million dollars, but everybody knows about it. Oh, is that was that on the spot? Yeah, that was on the spot. I think that wasn't bad. That's kind of a good one. Cool, thanks, man. I think, I, I don't know about the money ch- ch- like, options there. Like, like t- I guess most people. Ch- I don't know. Okay, okay. No, 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 can I, I rephrase think, that? Because yeah. I think I think ten million. You just you go for the ten. Yeah, regardless. So maybe a hundred million. What if, it, what if it was like a million dollars? No one knows about it. Yeah. So you just quietly or, or, do like, or like one point one million dollars, and everyone knows about it. So you get an extra hundred thousand. Uh, yeah, uh, right. No, nah, I think you need to go like one or two. Yeah, I think I think it needs to be quite a big difference because I just go for the. I still, the whole, I still the whole, take the two. 
But well, you would. I, I guess that. Yeah, but in the one point one, I would take the one. Yeah. I don't know what I I I would take. Yeah, I would take the ten. Of course you would. Like yeah, that, that's you would. What, there's, there's not much of a decision here. No. Which is the point of the game is to have um, a difficult decision. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alan. I, I, did I just meant, did I just ruin everything? The idea was like the amount of people that will kind of be like, oh, come out of the woodwork, being like, you give, give me some, give, give me some money. Like I, I, I feel like some relationships would be ruined. Yeah, you know what I mean. Some people but, would be like, okay, so if it's between one million and two million, okay, one and two, and, and what one's discreet, no yeah. one knows about it. No two knows. million, everyone like it's public. It was yeah. like on the news. Yeah, and everyone's you take the one. I think I would take the one. I take the two. Ali? Oh, look, I've done it again. Oh, I've, she wasn't. I've been zoned out again. I'm so, so <laughs> she was I love working. this. I love this. She the was working. I love this theme. I'm sorry. I'm so <laughs> glad you're honest about I'm that. I'm getting exposed every time. I, I swear you're this. interesting. Oh, I, lo- I love, I love that. Oh, oh, God oh, damn it. God damn it. I also look over and I see. You can't, you can't really. On the, on, the, on the video, she's kind of going like. Like that, and then like, just like, hey, yeah, and then like, hey, Ellie, Ellie, she's like, oh fuck. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm I'll, so I'll, sorry. Hey, no, Ellie, it's fine. I'll ask it again. Oh, okay. Um, would you rather? Okay, would you would you rather take one million dollars and nobody knows that you've got a million bucks, or yep. two million dollars but everybody knows you've got two million bucks? Oh, that's hard. Yeah. Um. Oh. It's not hard for me. Is oh. it? Oh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you the same? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, what's your? Would you rather? I, I, I. I um, okay. On. So uh, I've been fucking this up a bit recently, and yeah. I, I can see you guys are getting annoyed. So it's only it's, a little it's, bit. It's, so the key, the, just so you just uh, before you start, can yeah. I just start? Yeah, yeah. so the key here, and they, the, both these ones, are ones like, oh, it's a bit of a difficult decision, like. Like there's that one Correct. option that, yeah, or you option that, to, and like, it sparks a discussion. And, and they're like kind of similar in a way, like the million dollars. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I like, realized because I've been doing them quite, like, quite different and stuff. Quite different. So, okay, so yeah. would you rather every time someone says the word cheese, yeah. you get a dollar? In the, anywhere in the world? No, sorry. With, anytime you hear someone say the word cheese, yeah. so within, oh, yeah. within God, what, 30 feet radius, 60 feet radius, whatever. I'd make like three bucks a week off this. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you'd make quite a bit more than that. I don't. Cheese isn't really a common. But I could just be going to you right now. Cheese, 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 cheese. Yeah, yeah, if you wanted yeah, me yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Can, can I, I say it to myself? No. Oh, 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 cheese. Okay. Or any time that someone says the word the, you violently shit yourself. Like, evacuate everything inside of you. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cheese one. You take the cheese. Right, I would too because you'd actually make quite a bit of money over your lifetime, especially yeah. if you ask so, someone to say cheese to you quite a lot. So, yeah. so Adam mm-hmm. is a bit of an easy choice, really. Not much. Yeah. Like, well, no, because well, it's one like option's good cheese, and one's bad. Cheese or the, like they're yeah. both words. They're both yeah, words. yeah, but the, the thing is, so one of them's like, of course you would take it because yeah. there's only positives that come out of it. Yeah, and the other one. Is like, of course you wouldn't take that because there's only negatives that come That's out of it. That's why I'm going to take the cheese. So you one. take the cheese. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, yeah and yeah. Every, everyone would. No one would take the, the <sighs> shitting yourself. Well, no, but Adam, you've got to ask them first because some people might want to violently shit No, it's a really, easy, really easy decision. And I don't think. Especially you, I still violently. Don't, I still don't think you understand how this game works. <laughs> you you might have messed up again. I mean, you definitely, like, the two feel more related. So there's, like, slightly better, but. Okay. You, you've kind of messed up again. Ron, rap us out, though! <laughs> 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 Ali's on it. Yo, What's up? Woo! We talked about burnout on the podcast today, and then we did the game of Would You Rather, and I think that Adam still doesn't get it. Yo, yeah. burnout, burnout, social media, burnout. it's all. Is the world coming to burnout. an end? Are we all losing our concentration? Burnout. Are we all losing our smart information? Are we all... <laughs> Burnout, ah, oh, burnout, fan out, churn out, burn out. What a bit of 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 a bit Do you get really annoyed when there's video along with your podcast? Well, now you can just listen to the audio only. Head on over and here's all of the episodes. Audio only. You wouldn't listen to the car while you're running or something. Oh, do it. There it is.